Today I'd like to talk to you about gizmos, gadgets, doohickeys, thingamajigs, those wonderful little tools that you find in kitchen stores. Every time I go in one, I have to resist the urge to fill up a buggy. But I always stop and ask myself, do I need this? Would I use this? Do I already have something that does essentially the same thing? And oftentimes that's the case. But then there are other times where I go, no, nope, I've got to have it. And today I thought it would be fun to share with you some of my favorite kitchen tools and utensils. Now they're always inventing new ones and improving others, but for right now these are among my favorites. We're going to start with this. It is a tong and I love this because it's nice and long so it keeps my hands a safe distance from the heat of the cooking surface. And it also has these wonderful little scalloped edges on it which help to grab and hold on to whatever it is I'm turning. Better than those scissor handled styled tongs, things tend to slip out of them. Now this particular one is a locking one and to open it you just push that in and you can go about using it and when you're finished just pull that out and it locks which makes it great for storage because it won't get tangled up with the other utensils in your drawer or canister. Now this next one I love because it's just flat brilliant. It is a silicone basting brush. I love it because it's heat resistant so if you're making a sauce or a marinade on the stove and it's hot you can stir it and apply it with this and it won't melt. Also basting things in the oven. I love it for putting egg wash on pastries or even melted butter on fresh baked bread and as much as I love the heat resistant feature here. I love the fact that it can be cleaned completely. It comes apart just like that so you can wash it. It doesn't retain odors or stain like some of those paintbrush style basting brushes can and it goes back together so nice and easy and you can be assured that each time you use it, it is completely clean and you can use it over and over and over again. Love it. Now because we're talking about silicone, I thought I would talk about these. They're just scrapers or spatulas, but they are silicone. Again, heat resistant, so I can use them on the stovetop. And I find that I stir everything with these and use spoons really just for serving anymore because they're curved and you can get into the edges of the pot or scrape things off the side and really combine everything you're stirring. Now, they come in a lot of different sizes, but if I could have only two, it would be these two, the smaller one for narrow bottles and jars and of course this standard size. Now, this next doohickey here is called a spider skimmer and I love it for removing things from hot liquids, particularly deep frying and especially if you're deep frying on the stove top. It's great for wontons, egg rolls, donuts, um, especially tempura because you can get underneath what you're trying to remove. The basket allows it to drain quickly and it's deep enough that whatever you're removing will sit in there nicely, better than a slotted spoon where it might slide off, splash in the oil and be dangerous. Of course, this works great for removing things from boiling water, too. It works perfect. This next piece, of course, is a spatula, but it has a lot of unique features that make me absolutely love it, especially for fish because it's very thin and it gets underneath a fillet of fish very easily and especially for fish that's delicate, you know, like tilapia or trout, you can get underneath it and almost the whole fillet will fit on here and it's got this offset handle so if you're pan frying you can really get in there underneath it well and oil or liquid will drain out and you can plate it without your fish fillets falling apart. If you make a lot of fish you've got to have one of these and I do, though I do find a lot of other uses for it as well. Now. This next piece is called a microplane and they come in a variety of sizes as well but I find this one covers the most ground for me. It is great for zesting citrus fruits, grating fresh ginger, even garlic. I love it for grating fresh parmesan on top of pastas or sautéed vegetables and it also works great for spices because the teeth are very small. I love buying whole nutmeg and I can grate it right on the top of this and it works perfectly. Now you may have all of these, but if you don't, I feel confident the next time you go to a cooking store, if you were to buy one of these, you'd be very pleased with your purchase because I tend to use one or more of them every time I cook a meal.